Okay, fifth graders, here's a little homework help video. Several of you, I don't remember which class it was, math class one or two, ask about 17. So I can do that one. Um, let's see here. So we have four and one eighth, and that's being multiplied by five and a half times five and one half. Well, you should know that we have to convert these into mixed fractions. So four times eight is, uh, what is that, 32, 32 plus one is 33 over 8 times 5 and a half. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. That's 11 over 2. Okay. Uh, can't do any cross canceling. It's one of the first things I look for now. So we have to do some multiplication here. So the bottom one's going to be 16. And the top is uh, 33 times 11. So that's 33 and then 33 and bring down the 3. So it's 333. 333 over 16. Wow, now I see why some of you wanted me to uh, do this one uh, with you guys because it's you're avoiding having to do some, some math here. So um, 333 divided by 16. Um, I don't know. Let's try 20 times. See what happens here. Let's see. What's uh, so 20 times 16? Uh, 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12. And then 0, 2. 0, 2, 3. 320. So that works. So it goes in 20 times. 320. What's left over? Well, you got to subtract 320 from 333. That's going to be 13 left over. It's going to be 20 and 13 sixteenths, which cannot be reduced because uh, 13 is a prime number. Okay, so there's number 17 done for you. A couple of you asked me about that one. Now I see why. Uh, I did 19. Um, how about 18? I'll do 18 with you guys here um, and I'll leave you to struggle with 20 on your own let's look at 18 for a moment here we have 1 sixth and we're adding 2 and 2 thirds 2 and 2 thirds which I need to convert because it's going to be 1 sixth adding well what 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 more is 8 8 over 3 What's the common denominator? And it is addition. I wanted to double check that. Yeah, it is addition. Um, 18 would be... Oh, no, not 18. What am I thinking? It would be 6. 6 would be the common denominator. That would stay 1, one 6. 3 goes into 6 twice times 2 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17 over 6. How many times does 6 go into... Um, well, no, actually, I take that back. I'm going to leave it as an improper fraction because that one's done then. So this is 17 over 6. And I'm going to be multiplying that by what is 1 and 1 quarter minus a half. Well, I don't have to, I can do this one in my head. 1 and 1 quarter minus a half. Well, how many quarters are in 1? All right, here's a quarter. Here's a quarter. Here's a quarter. And here's a quarter. So that this equals one. And what is it? One and one quarter. There's another quarter. Okay. So there's there's uh, one, two, three, four, five quarters. All right. And if I'm subtracting a half, well, if there was if there was four quarters, here's four quarters. One, two, three, four. If I subtracted half of those quarters. I would take away two of them, and I'm going to do that. Here's my eraser. I'm taking away two of my quarters. That leaves me, leaves me with two quarters and plus the extra one. So what is that? That's three quarters. What's left? So one and one quarter subtracting a half is three quarters. And now I need to multiply those together. So let's see here. We have 17, six, 17 over 6 multiplying multiplied by three quarters 
I see some cross canceling I could do here. Look at the three and the six. Three goes into three once, three goes into six twice. That makes things a little bit easier. What's one times 17? This is what we're doing here. One times 17 is 17. What's two times four? That's eight, okay? Eight goes into 17 twice with one left over. And so there's our answer for number 18. Two and one eighth. I don't have room over here to write it, so I'll let you guys uh, figure that one out on your own sheet of paper. Okay. Um, well, let's see here. I'm looking at 23. How about 23? The city plans to extend the Wildflower Trail two and a half times its current length in the next five years. How long will it? How long will the Wildflower Trail be at the end of five years? So at the end of five years, it's going to be two and a half times longer. Okay, the five years is not something we're going to factor in in our equation, but at the end of five years, it's two and a half times longer. How long is it now? two and three eighths. So it's two and one half, okay, times two and three eighths. We have to convert these, okay? Two times two is four plus one is five, that's five over two times. Two times eight is 16 plus three is 19, 19 over eight, okay? I don't see any cross canceling we can do got some big numbers here what's 5 times 19 well what's 5 times 20 that's a hundred minus 5 it's gonna be 95 over 16 how many times is 16 going to 95 I don't know I'll let you guys figure that one out so there's most of 23 done for you okay all right that's it um, lots of videos today lots of videos I will see you guys tomorrow